Hey everyone, Dove218, Paranormal Video Gamer. And, um, over the past few days, I've been playing Nintendo Switch. I borrowed it from a friend. And, um, this is my review on Zelda, the game that came out for Switch. Now, in my previous video, I said don't buy a Switch because of certain reasons. Certain things that I was able to find out from multiple sources. And I stand by that review in terms of why buying a Switch. I will not buy a Switch. After playing it. After playing Zelda Breath of the Wild. I will go through my list of my opinion. Again. I'm always stating my opinion because I think it needs to be said. Because there are some things I liked, and then there were a lot of things I didn't like. So I'll go through the top five reasons, top five things I liked, and the top five things I didn't like. So I'll go with the positives first. First thing I liked about Breath of the Wild, while well, I played it, I played it for about a day. Um, just, you know, just fucking around, really. I wasn't really, um, doing, you know, the main missions and stuff like that. I was basically just walking around killing shit. Um, I liked it was open world. I liked the, the overall feeling of the game being very open. So I think, second thing I liked is I liked the way that they put the music... The soundtrack is definitely one of the highlights. The music is just dead on. Great. Third thing I liked. Third thing I think I liked probably the best um, was the character movement. Um, very responsive on the majority of times. But there was also a negative to that. And I'll get to that in there. But for the basic part of the game I liked the movement of the character so that's three number four if I had to put something I definitely appreciated the environment and I'm not talking graphically I'm talking about the way the environment reacts when you're walking through grass when you're you know, um, touching the water and you see the little waves and stuff like that. That, to me, was really cool. Um, it was definitely one of the highlights of the game next to the soundtrack. And the fifth thing that I really liked. If I had to put something on number five, I would probably say, from what I played, I definitely would say that I liked the overall progression of how you deal with enemies. So when you come up to an enemy, each enemy is different, unique, and you know you there's a certain way of killing the enemy or sometimes avoiding the enemy. So those are the five things that I liked about it. Now, here are the five things I didn't like about it. Number one, I didn't like the graphics of it. Overall, Although some of the really cool effects are in the game, graphically, it's very behind. Um, there was, an, I'm not going to show gameplay footage of my playthrough because of, for certain reasons. Because Nintendo has a very bad habit whenever you put in a Nintendo game to flag people's accounts and do copyright um, just by putting the name of Nintendo in the uh, title, sometimes you'll get flagged for shit. So, that's the one thing I didn't like. I didn't like the graphics. I kind of felt like, when I was playing it, it reminded me too much of the Wii graphics. Like, there are some games that are good for the Wii, and some great games for the Wii U, but I kind of felt like it was a, a little bit back. Um... Like, way before we came out. So that's the number one thing I didn't like. Number two, I don't know about a lot of people, but I didn't like the weapons, the durability part of the weapons. 
I thought that was annoying as fuck, going around and then having to essentially be careful, more careful that your weapon doesn't break or, you know, you can't use the weapon anymore. I thought that was complete bullshit. Um, number three, um, I did not like the AI, the intelligence of the actual creatures there in the game. There were some of them that just, while I was playing, they just stood there. And they just, like, looked, like, and they didn't do anything. They were just standing there. They were just looking at me. Um, there was one part, where there was one part of the game where I was in a field, and, um, I was just, there, there was, like, these, uh, it's hard to describe. It was, like, I don't know if they were skeletons or what the hell they were, but they, they were just looking at me, like, I, I would move, and then they're still staring at the area that I was in. So I don't know if that's just a, a, a bad bug in the game, or if it's just something that randomly happens. Um, it happened uh, in my one playthrough for about 30 minutes, where the majority of enemies just stood there. They didn't move, they didn't do anything. I walked literally up to them, and they didn't do anything. They just stood there, like bumps on a log. <laughs> Um, the other thing I did not like, even though it's open world, I'll be one of the first people to say, it reminded me so much of Skyrim. Like, almost an identical clone of Skyrim in certain respects. In certain respects, I kind of felt like, okay, that's very Skyrim. The only difference is, Skyrim was mostly first person, you can make it third person over the shoulder. And Breath of the Wild was more over-the-shoulder um, kind of gameplay or behind uh, the player. And I kind of felt like that that's what Breath of the Wild feels like. It feels like Skyrim. It doesn't have its own unique... Um, its own unique energy, to best describe it. I kind of felt like while I was playing that Breath of the Wild was a clone of Skyrim. And Skyrim's a great game. I love it. I've, I've actually done multiple videos on my channel, and I'm going to continue doing multiple videos on my channel. But while I was playing it, I kind of felt like, literally, it was Skyrim. Like, it reminded me so much of going back into Skyrim and going, yeah, that that was done by Skyrim. Uh, yeah, that, that was done by Skyrim. Oh, yeah, that was dumb, but... And I kept going over and over and over and over again, going, oh, yeah, that, 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 you know, I remember seeing something similar to that in Skyrim. The last thing that I did not like, and I'll be completely honest, um, while I was playing, there were a lot of sync issues on the Switch that I used. Um, I would be in the middle of a fight, and all of a sudden, the controller would stop working. To the point where I could not play the game. Like, I would get killed um, just trying to get it to sync back up to the system. And it got to the point where, you know, I called my buddy and said, Hey, you know, um, I've been having a little bit of a problem with the sync issue. And he basically told me the same thing. That's one of the reasons that he didn't like the system because he was having sync issues. And Nintendo released a statement basically stating, um, there's no sync issues whatsoever. I'm trying to get my face here. Um, but there's no sync issues whatsoever, and there's nothing wrong technically with the system, and you're okay. Well, yeah, when you can't play a game because it completely out of syncs and you can't react to an attack, of course that's going to be an issue. It's going to be a technical issue. Um... I'm hoping that they fix this issue very soon because it is very annoying, especially when you're in the middle of a battle, as I said. And then all of a sudden, um, you're in the middle of this battle and you can't fight back because the controller is not responding to um, the battle. Now, I was playing the system right in front of my TV. It's probably maybe two and a half, maybe three feet away. I'm not very far from where the, the TV is and where the console was. And I'm still having sync issues. So to me, 
that's also kind of why I didn't like, you know, Breath of the Wild, um, with all the sync issues, and it just might be that game, it might just be that particular game, I didn't try any other games, um, you know, but I still, I'm not gonna get a Switch, after playing it, and, you know, taking a look at it, I am a little disappointed, I am a very disappointed, actually, with the Switch, and I'm a little disappointed with Breath of the Wild, but, you know, overall, um, if I had to give a, a score, a 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, I'm going to go 6.5 out of 10. And I know a lot of people are probably going to be pissed off that I'm giving it 6.5. But I'm giving it a 6.5 because of the fact that I just, for me, it's too much of a copy of Skyrim. It's just blatantly a copy of Skyrim. They copied a lot of stuff from Skyrim in Breath of the Wild. And I'm not the only one that's seen it. Uh, I've, I've seen a bunch of videos on YouTube. I've seen a bunch of uh, Reddit posts. I've seen a bunch of Facebook posts. People are saying the exact same thing. This reminds them of Skyrim to a point. So that's my review. Um, it's, it is a good game. I'm not going to say it's a great game because there are a lot of flaws. There are a lot of things that are too similar but it is a good game, and it is a good step in the right direction. But I think Switch really, the Nintendo people need to understand that there, there's so much more that they could do. And, um, you know, uh, they really need to make the Switch better. And they also need to make uh, the next Zelda game much better. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Later.